Hi, I'm Heather. I'll be taking you on a tour of Speech of a Professional, software that adds narration to PowerPoint quickly and easily. First, let me tell you about myself. I'm a professional text-to-speech computer voice. I can speak any text that you enter. My voice sounds realistic, don't you think? Well, computer voices have improved a lot. Companies and I use text-to-speech voices in e-learning and training videos because of their clarity and consistency. For static slides, SpeechOver lets you create narration clips that speak in the slide background. For animated slides, it lets you create narration clips that speak in sync with the animations of screen objects. First, I'll show you how to add a clip to the slide background. Click on the SpeechOver ribbon to display the SpeechOver commands. Click the slide background without clicking on any object. The slide selection on the left side of the ribbon turns to Entire Slide. Click on the Add Slide Clip Ribbon button. Add a title for the narration clip to identify it. Click OK. The Add Narration Clip to Slide dialog appears. The title you entered appears over the text area. Choose the text-to-speech voice you want to speak the narration. Enter the text to be spoken. Now click OK and the slide narration clip is added. A slide narration clip is represented by a document shape below the visible screen. The clip title appears on the document shape. Optionally, the narration is accompanied by subtitles. Preview the narration clip by hitting the speech over slide show button which plays the slide show for that slide. Hi, I'm Paul. I'll show you more speech over features. You can easily change the text or the voice of a slide narration clip. Just select the slide clip shape, the document shape below, and click the Edit Shape Clip button. The Edit Shape Clip dialog appears. The Clip Organizer is an important tool for handling multiple clips on a slide. Narration clips appear as rows on the Clip Organizer. You can use the Clip Organizer to change the order that the narration clips play. Select the clip row and use the up-down arrows to change its order. SpeechOver makes it very easy to synchronize its voice narrations with the animations of screen objects, graphics or text, on a PowerPoint slide. You add individual narration clips which are automatically timed to speak when the screen objects are animated. Hear the narration when a bulleted text appears, or when the graphic fades in. Let's see how it works. Click on the speech over ribbon to display the speech over commands. Click on the screen object where you want to attach the narration, text or graphic. We we'll add a narration clip to the title. It will be heard when the title appears. Click anywhere on the title text, and the slide selection on the left side of the ribbon turns to title. Click on the new shape clip ribbon button. The add narration clip to shape dialog appears. The narration clip title appears over the text area. Choose the text to speech voice to speak the narration. Enter the text to be spoken when the title appears. Now click OK and the narration clip is added to the title. The slide clip text editor is a very useful tool. Launch it by the notes editor ribbon button. This editor lets you view and edit the text of all the narration clips on a slide at one time. The clips are displayed in the order they play. The headers refer to the shapes to which the clips are attached. You use the copy and paste commands on the ribbon to copy and paste a narration clip from one shape to another. A clipboard, called a speech board, stores the copied clip. The copy-paste functions work as follows. The copy function copies the narration clip from a selected shape to the speech board. 
we copy the narration clip from the first bullet. When you paste a narration clip to a selected shape that already has narration, its narration clip is replaced. We paste the narration clip to the cat shape. First, we look at its text by clicking its row on the clip organizer. The tooltip shows the text. Now we do the paste, and the text is replaced. Speech modulation controls, in the add and edit narration clip dialog, let you add modulation tags to the text, to make the speech more expressive. These speech modulation controls can change voice characteristics, like speed and pitch, at any point during the speech. The controls insert symbols, or tags, into the clip text, at the point where the change is to occur. You can insert the following types of modulations. Silent delays, in units of 0.5 seconds. Increase and decrease the speed. Increase and decrease the pitch. Increase and decrease the volume. And emphasize a word or phrase. This ends our tour of speech over professional. We've seen how to add voice narration to PowerPoint slides quickly and easily how to copy and paste narration clips between screen objects, and how to edit all clips on a slide, and how to modulate the voices easily by just entering text symbols. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope you will use my voice on your PowerPoints. I also want to thank you for joining us on this tour. Download a free trial of Speech Over Professional today, and try it for yourself.